Okay. So today we'll talk a bit about uh, stores and services and uh, about their bad and good sides and uh, what to use in a different situation. Uh, my background is uh, Angular and uh, the store uh, NGRX. So uh, my experience will, will be uh, along along to this, but probably also React developers will find uh, something useful. Uh, this year I had uh, two similar projects for the same client, but one using store and another uh, don't using store, only uh, only using services to communicate and uh, to store data. Uh, this is this is this is the one of the basic thing currently influencing architecture, and uh, in both scenarios I've seen benefits and uh, also some problems. Uh, those of course are bit different elements, uh, but in the context of just uh, communication and the storing of data, uh, we could use stores or live without live without them. Uh, of course, in, in Angular, in, some, in most situations, we could, could use uh, parent child communication or uh, using reference. Uh, but in, also, in a lot of situations, we need uh, to communication between components that, uh, that are in very different places uh, in the application tree. And in that situation, we need to use uh, one of those two. Uh, and so when I talk about services, of course, it must, must use uh, RG, RxJS. Uh, to 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 be able to to subscribe and uh, uh, and uh, and push some uh, information. So, at the beginning, I will uh, short to briefly describe uh, what the store and what the service uh, to get to know everyone uh, what we are talking about. Uh, then we will talk a bit about uh, criteria of choice. Uh, probably, it's. Uh, it's the more important point than just uh, choosing store or services uh, because uh, those will be some criteria that we could use uh, everywhere when choosing architectures or technology uh, in the programming world. Uh, after that, of course, we'll analyze the good and bad uh, sides in uh, both stories and services. We'll go, go through each criteria and uh, try to think uh, what is good and bad in that. And after that, I will uh, provide you a gold solution. What is the best decision for every project? Uh, not really. Uh, you will need to uh, focus during, during analyzation of this criteria and try to think about the priorities. What uh, criteria is more uh, important for you in your project? What kind of thing do, do you have? And uh, only after that, you could decide uh, what to choose. Uh, and of course, at the end, uh, we'll have Q&A session, if there will be any. Uh, okay, here is uh, the graph uh, of the store. Oh, sorry, but close enough. Uh, here is the graph of the store uh, of NGRX, but uh, another stores are a bit uh, similar. Uh, first, we have, we have the store, which is the uh, one source of true where we have uh, all information stored, but components can't connect there directly. Uh, first, if a component needs to uh, modify something, some information, needs to send action. And action can do two things, uh, can trigger two, two things. First, reducer. Uh, and re re reducer is a, something which modifies the store. From the technical point of view, uh, not modifying, but uh, generating a completely new state. Uh, modified and uh, replace it with a completely new state, but it's not important in this, uh, this discussion. Uh, and also this action could trigger effect, uh, a side effect, which will uh, have some logic uh, another than modifying, just modifying data. Uh, usually we use this logic to get some data from the data database and, we, and for this we use uh, another service. Uh, and when component needs to, another, in example, another component needs to read the data, uh, it's using selector, the selector is communicating with store uh, to get uh, this data. Uh, 
Okay, we love from stories, so now we need to love from services. And services is uh, from the space first side a bit simpler. Uh, we only have services, and this is for we can use it for everything. Uh, and I could set service is a small store that we could use in a particular context of the application. Uh, and uh, service could be um, only a bunch of uh, subjects uh, or another observables that we could just subscribe and one component subscribe, another component and the data there, and we have no storing, just sending the, the information. Uh, or we could expand a bit some services to store some data for the future, uh, like, like a cache, uh, or for another purposes. Uh, or we can even expand service to have some logic to do with the, with the, the data. Uh, and uh, of course, service can, can uh, also trigger another service. In example here, component one, uh, use ser service one to get some data, and service one is using service three, uh, and service three is a, a communication service that, that communicates directly with the database. And an example, this da data could be stored in service one. Uh, in the context, an example, it's a service of users, and it stores some. Uh, it stores the type with the users, and during the working of the application, another component could use this service to get the data of users. Okay. Okay. Here is the store. Uh, just just wanted to show that. Uh, all of all of these action selectors, reducers, effects, etc., are just compressed into one uh, one piece of application, but in some context, in examples, users or tasks or articles in some application. And how to choose? Uh, every good presentation need to have some uh, graph, so I choose some graph, and I think uh, important graph in in, the, in this context. Uh, because when uh, new technology arrives, usually, uh, okay, there are some first conferences talks, uh, then programmers uh, go to the conferences, uh, reading about it, read blogs, wow, new technology, golden technology that solves all, all of our problems. And enthusiasm, and we're implementing this in our application, but during working with this, we start to see that it's not the golden bullet, it uh, has some drawbacks. Uh, then we feel bad with this, and after time, the things normalize with this uh, te technology, and people know the, what is good and what is bad, and when to use it, when, when to not. Uh, and wh why I'm showing this? Uh, because it, it, it's not good, it's not bad to use uh, new, new technology, it's always good to learn things, try new stuff. But not everything what is new and uh, popular is good in our context of uh, our application. And uh, when we are cho choosing uh, something, we should use some more strict criteria than this is new and so everyone is using this. So, what will be our criteria of choosing? First, code readability. Uh, when we, the, the, the easier test is recruit a junior, show him a code, and uh, how, how, easy it, the, how easy it will be to him uh, to read this. Uh, because I, I think that the perfect code, readable code, uh, even with some advanced technologies, uh, could be quickly, after some introduction, quickly readable, even for a beginner prog programmer. Uh, second thing, expansibility and modularity. So there are two, two similar but different concepts. First, how easy it is to, if we have written application, then how it's easy to expand it uh, to, to, maybe not expansibility, scalability probably will be, will be better. So how it's easy to scale it to, to something bigger. And modularity, how it's easy to take one part of the application and use it somewhere else, even in another application, or to make a library from this, or a plugin for, for, for something. 
uh, another the most important criteria for project managers time just simply how much time it will take to write application using this or using this uh, similar to this also important for project managers how skilled programmers, programmers do we need uh, to use this so <laughs> Does uh, a team of juniors uh, and one senior is enough for, for, for implement this or do we need only seniors uh, to understand uh, concepts and, and to work with this? Uh, and those two are of course connected with the money. How much it will cost to uh, deliver application if we choose this or this? Bugs, uh, how it's hard to introduce uh, new bugs, how it's, uh, this technology is valuable. <laughs> Uh, uh, optimization, it, the application will run faster, slower, and uh, security. Uh, if it changes something in uh, security, it's easier to hack it or, or not. So, let's go through each, each of these and try to think uh, what, what our technology will have strong and weak uh, areas in those uh, context of these criteria. Uh, for each criteria, I will apply uh, just a plus or minus. It's, uh, uh, it's my opinion if uh, this, uh, this technology, this solution uh, is uh, strong in this context or, or weak. Uh, so let's start with uh, standardization. Uh, when someone already knows the store and go from one project to another, uh, he could very quickly adapt, uh, adapt in the situation because if he, he is using, an uh, example, the store NGRX, the same in this application, this application, uh, the architecture and structure is the same. Of, of course, there, there could be some implementation differences, but in general, uh, going from one place to another, he could quickly adapt uh, to a new application and understand uh, what's going on. Uh, with services, uh, of course, uh, of course, implementation of uh, communication using services in, uh, in, in application, the, basic, the basics of the implementation will be the same, but uh, in general, it could be realized in dif different, different, uh, different ways. Uh, so on the beginning, someone will need to explain how we are using these services in this application. So we we'll need a bit more time to uh, understand how services in this uh, application works. Uh, another uh, things I will look about is uh, what I call bad developer test. Uh, if we have a code uh, that's written by a very bad developer and uh, one code uh, he, he wrote using stores and another services, uh, which one will be more readable? Uh, with stores, uh, like we said in the previous part, stores are more standardized so it's uh, more if you already know it then it's more difficult to make a make a mistake uh, with services you have more, you could, could more freely do what you want uh, which is a good in some cases uh, but uh, in case just of a code readability when a code is uh, done by, by a developer uh, easier will be to read uh, when you use stores uh, encapsulation, so it's about the uh, code diversity in store or the logic diversity. In store you have logic in different places, you have actions, selectors, reducers, effects and uh, a lot of the logic that usually in case of services will be in component or somewhere around the, the component, here will be somewhere else in a different place in the application. Uh, so when you need to debug it, read, uh, you need to sp spend a bit more effort to go through all files uh, to, to, to understand the logic. Uh, the next one is the most obvious. Uh, in every article about uh, stores, there is something about the boiler plate. Uh, because, yeah, and calculation was about the code diversity. Uh, but boiler plate is about how much code you need to write uh, to make it work. And in stores, you need to write a lot of code comparing to another solutions. So we can simply, it's um, might be a big simplicity, but uh, in the words, but 
more code, then it's uh, harder to, to read this. Uh, and the next one, it's a comparison of how it's uh, readable to use it in a small or a big application. Uh, store is a big thing, and we, 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 when we have a small application, um, then it will, uh, we have to write a lot of code without, uh, um, without any, any, any big benefits. With service, we, we can write something in two lines. With, with stores, we have much, much more. Uh, but with big application, it comes with a bit of benefit because store is uh, well structured. We have a standardized structure. So, uh, okay, we have a lot of code, but we, we, when we have a very big application, it comes with some benefits in readability uh, because of the structure. With service, it's a bit easier to make, uh, make a mess in the future. But uh, I gave it plus and minus because uh, it depends. If, if, we, if we create a good architecture of services, uh, then it will be quite uh, readable. But it's not necessary. In some applications, it uh, can be done in a bad way. And that then service will be not readable when, uh, when scaling to a big application. The next criteria. It's expensibility and uh, scalability and uh, modularity. Uh, I think that scalability it's uh, it's good in both situation. Mm, maybe a bit easier with store because we don't need to think how to scale. Uh, we have easy rules. We're just adding another uh, reducer, another selector, etc. But with service, we need to think a bit, bit how to do it uh, to not make a mess, to not ma make uh, too many services, too many connections uh, between services. Uh, but when we think about it a bit, uh, then the scalability will be, will be similar. But with modularity, uh, stores, is, stores are not very modular because in application you have one store and everything is connected with this store. And if you just want to take some part of the application and example, you make from it a plugin or uh, use the same in a, a, another application, it's still connected with this store. You can't uh, uh, take it. Uh, you need to rewrite uh, a lot of part of codes. With services, it could be very easy if you make it good and uh, services are connected with only some parts and context of the application. Uh, then sometimes you can, can just get the, this part of code, move somewhere else, and use it. Time. Uh, learning cure for store is uh, much, much, uh, much, maybe not much, much, but uh, uh, bigger than for, for services. There are, there is a new abstract concept, and someone need to underst understand this concept. Uh, how it works, then it needs to, um, first, after understanding th this uh, concept, then it needs to understand uh, how to work with this in detail. Um, with service, this situation is more, uh, more simple. Uh, there are less concepts to understand. We just have another class that we are using to send there something and receive. With stores, you need to understand the concept of states that we are modifying, not modifying the state, but creating a new state, uh, that we can select only using some selectors, and so there are much more structures uh, uh, to learn. Uh, also, the time with coding. Uh, it's, we already talked about the boilerplate, uh, so more code to write, so it, it's more time consuming. Uh, Maybe not fully, because there, there's one, one thing with stores, uh, like I said before, you don't need, to, if you already know it, you don't need to think too much. So in the same, uh, same point, if someone write very quickly <laughs> on the key keyboard, uh, it could be uh, as fast as, as for service. Uh, but uh, still in most ca cases, a lot of things uh, using service could be done in uh, just several lines. And in stores, you need to create uh, all of, uh, uh, reducers, selectors, and all of, all of that, that stuff. Uh, debugging. Personally, for me, it's much easier to debug uh, services uh, because there is uh, less uh, files to, to see. 
but uh, I can agree that it depends. Uh, and for some, and for, for some people, the the fact that store is uh, very well structured uh, makes it easier uh, to debug. Uh, skills that we that we need. So this is about does this project could be done by juniors medium or do we need only medium seniors to, to understand it and to work with this uh, and i divided it between skills that we need to, to learn this thing and uh, skills that we need to, to work with this efficiently uh, so first uh, about learning we already talked about uh, it's easier to to read the concept of uh, communication using services than, than, than the store Mm, but with using efficiently, uh, just talking about the skills, not times. Uh, time. I think that uh, if you already know how to do it, you work a bit with stores, then your work is very automated. Uh, and after after that, when you're creating something using store, you don't need. After you learned it, then you don't need to think so much. Like with services, where always you need to take care to not make uh, too many services to 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 man, too many mess between connections. Uh, so it's easier to learn, but maybe a bit harder with uh, when the application grows uh, to 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 not make a mess. Uh, bugs. Uh, it, it, it's, it's hard to tell, but uh, I tried to divide it into some uh, smaller parts to, to, to decide to where, where it's easier to, uh, to make a new bug. Uh, first, a uh, variety of solutions. Uh, so this is what I also already talked about. Uh, with stores, uh, you have one solution how to do, do stores. And uh, if you are doing it, you are doing it uh, machinally and uh, uh, so it's harder to, to introduce do some new, new bug, but uh, in the opposite with, with services, when uh, you have more free hand how to do something, uh, you can do something that uh, that will uh, that will not work. Another uh, very very simple attribute: amount of code. Uh, maybe also this is the big uh, simplifying of things. But in general, if you write more of codes, it's more possibility that somewhere you made a small mistake. And with stores, definitely you have much more, much more codes uh, to write. Uh, and then uh, I divided the, the books between the who, who is uh, coding, uh, someone who is beginner in uh, in this technology. Uh, th this is not the difference between junior and senior. This is just uh, someone is already is learning the stores or is advanced in this technology. So if someone is learning, I think uh, it's much easier, to, because of the complexity of stores, it's much easier to, to make books there uh, than, than in services. Uh, but when someone is a skilled person in, uh, in stores, then he's just, just, do, just doing his job uh, without errors. About optimization, I couldn't find a uh, lot of data, and also according to my experience, I couldn't see a big uh, difference uh, bet be between the, the speed of the application. The only thing I found is the memory usage, uh, because you have one store for the whole application, and if we have uh, a one page application, then uh, uh, then the all info during the whole life of the application, the all information will be stored in the store data, and user is clicking through the application, reading data, and all those information uh, is stored there. And of course, we we could uh, and and we need to take care about cleaning this data. So if we do not think about it, then we we use a lot of memory, and we if we think about it, then we will need to uh, take care about uh, cleaning of the unused data. Uh, with services, uh, there is a less problem with this because uh, we have a services connected with some part of the application. And an example, when we run application with the admin panel and we are not using these admin panels, we are not loading this admin panel and uh, they don't need to store data about it in memory. With stores, we have always everything. Uh, and at the end, security, also I couldn't find uh, good articles about it. Uh, and I think uh, 
there is there is there's no difference uh, maybe, maybe we can address here only to the bugs so how easy it is to make bugs uh, somewhere and some bug can uh, has a, a leak in security but in general uh, i couldn't find any uh, more deeper information about it so which one should i choose uh, as i said at the beginning uh, it, it depends on the application. Uh, I will summarize it uh, if I really need uh, to this. Uh, if you can, uh, uh, if it's not a problem for you, the boilerplate and the complex complexity, uh, but more important for you is the universal structure that uh, everyone will understand, uh, who already know this. Then we have store. If you prefer the opposite, uh, then service. Of course, it's a big, big uh, simplification of, of things. Uh, but uh, can help. Uh, OK. Uh, this is the end of the short presentation. Uh, are there any questions? Uh, yes, Pavel, uh, thank you for the presentation, really very interesting and uh, I do agree with you with a lot of things as per maintain maintainability of uh, services, uh, learning, uh, th theory, etc. I just wanted to ask, um, actually I worked uh, uh, with Angular just on a couple of projects. It's, it's not my main skill and main technology. And I, uh, with Angular, I only used services. That's why it's very interesting for me how you use store, stores with Angulars and what technology do you use for like state management system in Angular. And um, why are you saying about one storage? Did uh, did you use, or is it possible to use other uh, other state management systems uh, that uh, use multiple storages? Uh, yes, of course, there are more storage systems. Uh, not only NGRX, uh, also NGXS, which is more, I think, a bit more better. Uh, but I don't have uh, much experience with this. Uh, with Angular, you can uh, probably that, that there are more uh, stores that you can use. Also, you could mix a bit uh, th those concepts. Mm, I'm not sure if it will be good, but uh, you can, of course, use stores and uh, sometimes use services to, to communicate. Mm, okay, maybe in uh, depending on the context of the application, it uh, it, it it could be good to mix uh, those concepts. Uh, but uh, of course, in Angular, you can use also another uh, state uh, management. Thank you. Very interesting, really. Good. Thank you. So, but the main point, uh, as I said at the beginning, that the main point of the presentation is. Uh, I don't know, do you still see my screen? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, because something changed in my computer. Okay, but uh, so still, I th think the main point of the presentation is to, with, when choosing something, uh, some technology, try to think uh, about some criteria. Probably we could find uh, some more criteria. Uh, everyone, one would just need to think what is more important in, in the current project. Maybe we have a team of juniors uh, and the cost is the most important and we need to find something that is uh, easy to work with. Or maybe it's a big project, money is not a problem and the more important is the uh, scalability and uh, for, for the future and code reliability. Uh, also, at the end of the day, a lot of depends of, of the persons who is working with it. Someone will like this and someone will like this. Uh, but uh, when you are an architecture designer and you have uh, 20 people who work in the future with this, you can't talk with everyone and you need to decide something. Uh, so always is good to 
uh, divide the decision between some basic uh, criteria that we need to, to, to achieve. Okay, so, some more questions? Yeah, hello, I, I have a question. Um, could you please describe kind of scenario when um, store much better than services, except situations with junior, seniors and other stuff? Mm -hmm. uh, it will be hard for me because personally, uh, personally I, I don't, don't like services. <laughs> uh, I, uh, during the presentation, I tried to be objective uh, for, for, for uh, both, but uh, if I will need to choose uh, for most of my projects, uh, it will be services. Uh, but uh, it, it, it's my opinion and it's my uh, my approach. Probably for someone else has uh, I don't know, different way of thinking and it's easier for someone else to work with uh, the, the stores. And if I will need to find an example, probably with some big corporate applications, uh, application where we have a uh, lot of uh, juniors or people that we are not sure about the, the skills. Of, co of course, they, they will need some time to learn, but when they will learn, uh, then it will be easier for them to work with this. Mm, but if we work with a, our smaller project or with uh, our medium projects, or especially with a project with some more experienced programmers. Uh, I will choose services. Mm. But as I, as I see, when I talk with most of the seniors, a lot of seniors very like services. Uh, so if we could talk with the team, uh, the best solutions would be to choose the technology. That the team uh, like to work with. It, it, it always they will uh, easier and uh, faster work with the technology that they like. I have read uh, an opinion that stores should be used in situations when we have uh, one set of data which could be modified or needed to uh, display somehow uh, in a different components. Mm. Yes, I, I agree with this, but also the same could, could be achieved with services. Uh, but uh, but yeah, partially I, I agree with this, that uh, in this situation, uh, choosing store will be good. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, different frameworks have different philosophies. So if um, Angular provides already out of the box a lot of things uh, to, to, to manage and to, to, to uh, data and to communicate, but the example with uh, React, we don't have a lot of uh, those tools. And in the React world, uh, probably the store is, uh, is a very good thing. That's why it, uh, it's so popular dur during React developers. Mm, so for sure, uh, probably a lot of things that I already ta talked uh, uh, addressed to Angular, but maybe not, not for React, in example. OK, thank you for your answer. Yeah. Uh, Pavel, if uh, we are talking about Angular, uh, do you have any data about popularity of these conceptions? Uh, did you do any investigation on uh, how more popular, uh, for example, services are than uh, storages, uh, than stores uh, while, uh, while using with Angular? Uh, I haven't done the done investigation, but that's according to my experience and uh, conversation with people. Uh, last year, in example, when I talked with anyone, everyone was, story super, it's a great thing for everything. And also, I did, uh, at the first look, uh, like the idea of one place with, with storing of the data. Uh, but then when I start to work with this and seen the whole boiler, boiler plate and the amount of code that we need to write and, and read, uh, I was terrified and uh, quickly <laughs> uh, come back to, uh, um, to, 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 the, to the services idea. Uh, and uh, this year, an example, uh, when preparing to this presentation, also when, when I... Uh, Look, look through the internet. Uh, 
some people like this and not. Uh, now that there are much more in example articles than year before about in which situation uh, it's good. Uh, so I think uh, now it's uh, equally that just, just just different situation when uh, and different uh, type of people who just have different type of thinking and for for someone it's just easier to think creating application when you have one place or a source of true uh, and but for anyone it's uh, uh, seems simple to, to to create services. Uh, and about the pop coming back to the answering about popularity, uh, I think now it's equal. Just, just, just now, not, not people understand where to use it or, or not. Some more questions?